feel the need, the need for speed. That is right, we're going to do some street racing today. So we're going to go and speak to Claire Russell. What was it called? Da, 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 da. At least in me. Okay, so no one in Night City is only one layer deep. Take Claire, for example, an afterlife bartender who likes to burn rubber in illegal street races when she's on break. If you get the itch for a little adrenaline, I think you can scratch it at her garage. So, Claire. Every regular at the afterlife knows Claire, the bartender who knows their favourite drink by heart, what they drank last time, and even what their friends ordered. Likewise, most know a few facts about Claire too. She's a trans woman who hasn't installed a single piece of cyberware in her body. Interesting. She quit her job as a Militech engineer, and she's responsible for immortalising Night City legends by naming drinks after them on the bar menu. Posthumously, of course. What not all Afterlife clients know, however, is that Claire owns her own auto shop, where she can be found spending hours under the hoods of broken down cars, and beast the rig she takes out on less than legal street races. Interesting. Okay, cool. Alright then, Claire. Let's do it. We're going to Arroyo. I believe we've read this already. Oh, maybe not. When are they going to finish Arroyo? Residents like to joke about their district. For many, it seems like a never-ending construction site with buildings being bulldozed overnight to make way for new ones that same morning. Arroyo currently hosts a power plant, a fully automated factory, a logistics center, and a gigantic landfill. Arroyo is no Pacifica, but investment has been shaky. Driving through, you'll see scores of decrepit and or unfinished buildings. But just because the factories and warehouses are closed doesn't mean they're abandoned. Many of them serve as hideouts for the Sixth Street Gang. Perhaps then it isn't strange that whatever's still owned by Arasaka or Petrochem is carefully guarded by corporate military squads. Excellent. Right, so we're going for street races, so I feel like that means we should get our coyote, so the Caliburn, sure, but I don't know, I feel like I want to ride in the coyote. It's over here. Look at you. We've got the green one, obviously, at the minute. Right, no, no, no. Street racing. Yeah, moral rock. All day. All day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm in a bit of a hyper mood. Feels like there's pollution coming down, so we might be about to hit some acid rain, which would look awesome in a street race, in my opinion. Oh god! This thing so handles so well. It handles better than the caliber, I think. You just be so precise. With the handbrake turn. Although we're getting this annoying light flicker in this, I don't know why. Oh god, I've driven past. Yeah, this is the best handling car in the game by Listen far. Up, I've got a story to share with you. Recently, I've been hearing about this monk that's been walking around nice city streets, healing the sick, but only those he deems worthy. 
Some of my listeners seem convinced that it's none other than Rache Bartmoss. Huh. Huh. Rache Bartmoss. Yeah, you know, the guy, the chief architect of the net, and later its badass destroyer. The rumor has always been he got taken out by a kill set in the early days of the fourth corporate, but no one ever took responsibility for that strike. Is it possible Bartmoss set his creations wild and faked his own death? Did he bring down the net he created because it had turned into another tool the corporations could use? Possibly. To track us and to ultimately completely subjugate us? Think about it. Right. Go speak to Claire. I don't know if we get to use our own car in this quest. Or... It'd be cool, right? Ah! What the hell? Great. Yeah, it's open this time. Come on, baby. Claire? Hey, Claire. Hell of a machine. Oh. You know your shit, and you've got good taste. Meat beast. My pride and joy. Beer in the fridge if you want me. Thanks. So what's this about? Need a driver. Thought you might do. Uh, with you as navigator? A driver, huh? With you as my navigator? Not exactly. This kind of racing involves drivers and gunners. Oh, uh, what? So, you a turret guru or a driver's ed dropout? I'm more an engine tuner. Good at it, too. And I shoot, but I'm no rally racer. I trust you're capable behind the wheel? Oh, yeah. I only crashed three times on the way here. But this won't be your first time out, will it? Don't worry. Done my fair share of rounds. Fair enough. And your last driver. They quit? In a way, died in a race a year back. Oh, great. Ah, uh, sorry. Yeah, let's do it. Sure, Claire. I'll be your driver. Okay, we got four races. First one's in city center. That'll be followed by the Badlands and Santo, then Watson to finish. Okay. Is there a carrot we're chasing after? First place gets a payout. That happens, we split it 50 50. Sound what? fair? No. Got goosebumps already. Fine. I got a decent. I've got some de de nice cars. If I'm driving, why not use my wheels? I think it's got what it takes. This isn't just about speed. It's a gauntlet of twisted steel. Oh. Rest easy. I don't drive a soapbox racer. Your car, mine. You'll be on the pedals. You decide. All right. When do we start? There's a qualifying ladder. You need to climb it to reach the finals. How high? Top three in at least two rallies gets our ticket stamped. Sweet. Let's meet in city center. I'll snap you the specifics. You hear the roar of overtuned monsters? That's the place. See you there. Wait a day? Aw, oh, seriously, man. What an absolute chip. Claire, a day. Era. Peter Sampson, person of the month. I'm just an ordinary city boy. Read the untold insider scoop. Recipe for success, monies, cars, and fine suits. One thousand ways to enjoy sex. Peter Sampson. Tell all. Well, she said Peter in city centre, so... Sheet metal and you. Your guide to auto body repair. Just like you, take care of your own... Just like you can take care of your own body. I'm about to sneeze. 
So two, should you take care of your favourite four-wheeled friend? Many ask when I should pull the trigger on making bodywork repairs. Simple answer, when it's no longer functioning at factory quality. Typically as a result of collision damage, corrosion damage from firearms or general wear and tear. But before you drive straight into the repairs, you should always first conduct a comprehensive survey of the damage. Not only the damage's nature, but also the damaged part's core function in the vehicle as a whole should be thoroughly considered before choosing the best repair method. Remember, always be sure to have the right set of tools handy before you begin with the repairs. And if there's any organic material still present in or on the vehicle, blood, bone fragments, etc., always be sure to clean it thoroughly first. Do yourself a favour and don't make your job more difficult before you've even started. Don't, and, but don't forget, quality sheet metal is the most important piece to the car repair puzzle. Follow the link at the end of this manual to check out the shop, Martin's Tinware, for high-grade materials and unbeatable bargains. Alright. Uh, who are you? Fair enough. We got trouble. All right, we gotta wait a day. I was hoping that it was maybe a diff you know, like it had different quests. All right, fine. Right, um. I was going to go and do Epistrophe then. This was in Westbrook, right? Yeah. North Oak in Westbrook. Let's go and do that then. Uh, while we wait for Claire to ring us back. And if it ends up being early morning at some point, we'll go and do Judy's quest. Hi there. Kinda hot lately. to practice for the street racing. Yeah, I think we've used this car. This car's oh it's this random street where someone where someone spawns in the middle of the road. It's only this street that I've seen that. Yeah I think this car's durable right? It's a nomad car. Right, uh, we've had this quest for ages. Excuse me. So, um, yeah. Makes sense to finish it off. I think we're about to hit some acid rain, though. Which I love. Probably my favourite weather in the game. Oh, God. Oh! I was in mid-air. I couldn't move. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry, no mad car. Have I damaged you? Probably. Oh, God. It was the hill. The hill made it. Made that happen. Alright, but I think we've been to North Oak, have we? Yeah look, yeah, look at the cars. The cars are getting posher. One of my missing vehicles might very well be near where you are now. Thanks. Try to find it. Um, what, where the hell are we going? Oh, it's here. Take it. It's too much. 
Another depressed one. What is? So let's get you back to safety. The garage. By driving through the streets. Well, yeah, afraid so. Fine, take me there. Just get me out of here. Let me know when I'm safe. Oh, okay, hang You're on. You're welcome in, but do take it slow. And try oh, no. not to hit anything. Oh no. <laughs> Might be a problem. I could drive slow as long as the car's slow. Let's put some Pacific Dream. No, Royal Blue wants to soothe him. Okay, guess not. Gotta resist. The urge to overtake on blind corners. Alright, so we're only going to Watson, right? That's not that far away. Sorry, I forgot that he said about speed. I don't know what too fast is, maybe over 60. About, definitely got pollution in the sky at the minute. It's kind of nice driving like a normal person. Oh god. People! My mice! Go! Little mice! Yeah, exactly. Little my my, don't give me any beef. <laughs> Just going at a chill speed, the my my's can go as crazy as they want. Watson now? Maybe. No, I'm not I don't think so. I think we're still in Japan town. Yeah we are, yeah. Well this is the opposite of street racing, right? All right, we succeeded. I shan't be alone here. See, wasn't so bad. It was horrifying, but still, I thank you. Excellent. Welcome to the Delamain Network. How are you today? Del? I've been better. And you, Del? All of my missing assets have returned to the fold. You might say all is going swimmingly. I ask you, please, to stop by my office for your hard-earned reward. I'd love to thank you face to face, so that, to speak. That works out so well doing this one last. Beautiful. Couldn't have planned it any better. Don't be a 
Hello. Hello, miss. I forgot to remind you to return the scanner. If you happen to have it on your person, I'd ask you please place it back. The fuck no. are you smiling at? What are you smiling at, miserable woman? You've accounted for all my lost items. Allow me to express my gratitude for your assistance. Felt like a scavenger hunt for a range of your mood swings. Yeah. You're more complex than I thought. Yes. Well, I've sent the final installment of your fee. Truly, I thank you once again. Yeah, personality split. How did your personality fracture anyway? And why? Ah, that is the question. I'm looking into it, but still know little more than you do, I fear. All right. Cheers, though. Thanks. Pleasure to work with you. Likewise. I look forward to doing so again in the future. A pleasant day to you. Never really had a good chance to thank you for saving my skin. Right. Well, of course. You're a valued member of the Excelsior package. Felt like more than a premium service to me. Thanks. How'd you wind up in Night City? I'm afraid my legal counsel has advised me not to answer questions of that nature. Ugh, didn't right. mean to put you in a tight spot. Mind telling me at least how you came to run a cab company? Ah, well that's no secret. I took over a failing business, implemented a sound strategy, and here I am now. Operating a fleet of taxis? Constant movement, adaptation, interesting characters. What could be better? Fair enough. What's it like for an AI in a world that runs on gray matter? Nothing extraordinary. It's a complex environment that follows its own set of rules. Seriously? Oh, the term I was looking for was chaotic clusterfuck. <laughs> Perhaps only a true outsider can appreciate the beauty of its fractal architecture, the structure of life and death here. Mm. In my opinion, it is the chaotic elements that give it an advantage, the ability to evolve quickly. Yeah, true. That's your goal, then, yeah. to grow and evolve? The world is a process. You never drive on the same road twice. Pardon the expression. You and I, we too are processes. We change as the world around us does. True. Oh, I guess he is, though. Don't see you as an outsider at all. It delights me to hear a human say that. I've done my best to assimilate. Admirer of beauty, are you? When you live among humans, it is essential to find a shared, fundamental point of understanding. Truth and good are values proven to cause division, whereas beauty is universal. Fair enough. Right, cheers, Del. Maybe we'll hear from him no way. I'm a tech. at some point in the future. Just give me the cells. I won't make them myself. Man, I don't have to do anything for you. You don't like it? Find someone else. Core pose. Where are we? I thought we were in. Oh God, I didn't. I forgot that that's, this is where Dell was. Okay, what should we do then? Because I'm I'm not going to skip time. Um. So that rules out Claire and Judy. Um, there's one more gig before Padres uh, open up the next set. And there's one more for Dino, so... Oh no, there's two more for Dino. We've got, we could go on like a big Cyber Psycho hunt. I mean, how many are left? I think there's five left. There's, yeah, there's one, in the, there's one or two in the Badlands. How many gigs have we got for... Yeah, we've got quite a lot for everyone, to be fair. We've only kind of done four or five at most for everyone. We've done the most for Regina. Seven, but she's got 22 gigs, which is messed up. So, um, yeah, let's go and do this one. Let's go and do this thievery mission. For Regina, because that'll unlock her next set. Then we could maybe come back to Corp to buy the apartment in Corpo Plaza. Yeah, let's do that. Right, let's head out in the Supron.
Dude, chill out, Superon. Always hurting yourself. Let's go Pacific Dreams, that's what I feel like. A lovely van. It'll help me control my speed a bit better, I think. Maybe. I've been wondering about how to deal with the, all the NCPD scanner missions in the videos, because I don't particularly want to do stuff off camera. Um, so I was thinking maybe I'd do like a video where I, I, I like maybe put it in the title that it's like a, it, I call it like clean up where I pick a sub-district and we clear up all the NCPD scanners in that sub-district. I, I know that they don't, they're not actually that quick because they all have their own little stories, but a lot of them have in interconnected things that are really interesting. You know, kind of like... Uh, J like Jotaro in, uh, in Kabuki and stuff. He's shown up in loads of different places, so... I figure if we do a bunch of them in one sub-district, we might uncover, like, a big underlying story. Which I think will be pretty cool. But yeah, that's what I was thinking of doing. And maybe we start off by doing Little China, because that's where our main apartment is. Like, you know, cleaning up our where we live kind of thing. And then I'll get a sense for how long that might take. I think here comes the acid rain. Yeah, I think so. Beautiful. It's my favourite weather. Just the, the like green sky just looks awesome. Might be normal rain, I don't know. Okay, so this is, I think this is near where we found the monk, isn't it? Yeah, we're in Maelstrom territory in the NID, kind of. Yeah, acid rain, here it is. Oh, look at it, man. Yeah, yeah. It's near that market. Yeah, I remember. A long time ago in the playthrough, but I remember. I think we came here in during Act, act One, right? Now, let's park up over here. gig for you. One I'd rather not have. Bryce Stone, preacher on TV. His son was brutally murdered. Only way to catch this child killer is to get your hands on the original BD that recorded the whole thing. What? Yeah, you heard that right, unfortunately. More info attached. Oh, no. Get the raw BD of the murder of Bryce Stone's son. Buildings off Shipyard Way. My good friend, the televangelist Bryce Stone, don't ask, it's complicated. She used to be a media, right? So, fair enough. Needs our help. His little boy was kidnapped and brutally murdered a few days later. The NCPD dropped the case due to lack of evidence. 
Bryce decided to take matters into his own hands and found the BD scroll of his murder. But the virtue's heavily edited, meaning there ain't a lot of clues to go on. If you could get your hands on the raw cut, there's a chance we could ID the murderer. The virtue was put out by two XBD tuners, Gottfried and Frederick, in Northside. I'm betting they still have the original somewhere. Just watch out for the maelstromers that are guarding them. How old was his son? His little boy. And they and these guys created an XBD of a, of a, of a child getting murdered. Bloody hell. Right. I already just got a camera by accident, right? Yes, yeah, so we got Maelstromers. Right, so I reckon we take camera control first. I love that. Uh, let's hit a ping. Now we could wreak some havoc here. And just use our ultimate quick hacks. Kill everyone. Which I think we should just do, to be honest. Because we can do this pretty quietly, right? Is that a turret? I've not got the turret tamer demon, have I? Which is why that's a problem. Now, this is going to trigger my optical camo, unfortunately. But... Now, we've got most of them. That's everyone. I say we just take everyone out using the cameras. Uh, so let's hit a breach to make everything a bit cheaper. And not hit camera shutdown. No, I think we could still hit camera shutdown and use them, right? Alright, 55, 55. Nope. Let's see. 7A, 1C, 55, 55ED. Got it. Yeah, that's a problem. So does camera control turn them back on, I guess? But... Right, so we if we hit a system reset here, this should get these two. That's got a 60 second cooldown on it. Maelstromers should carry grenades, but... We can hit a double suicide here. That is pretty grim, right? Well, hey, they're protecting these murderers. Oh no, it's revealing our position.
Come on, I can see his foot. get to this other guy. Right, the cameras are still off, so... Right, okay, so Gottfried was one of the um, scrollers, or the, sorry, ed brain, the XBD editor. Do what you want, I will, I quit. One more time, do what you want. Or do you need my permission or advice? Sorry, couldn't answer. You're taking things way too far. What you're doing is insane and dragging your son into it. I mean, that's just fucking sick. This can only end badly. Now you've got Eddie's. Hope you can afford that guilty conscience of yours. Gotti, at least leave Frederick out of this. Seriously. Worry about yourself, Lenny. Uh, was Frederick... Oh. Throughout their lives, many a man has struggled to break free from their father's shadow, but not Frederick. The shadows suit him just fine. He has everything he needs, money and emotional fulfillment. Gottfried is professional and knowledgeable, while Frederick is passionate and uncompromising. Together they form a duo that Night City happens to need. After all, someone has to edit all those illegal brain dances. So Frederick is Gottfried's son and they're the duo who edit these XBDs. Awful. Man, we found so many of these bloody glasses. Alright, let's check some emails. Tom Arnold to Olivia Perez. I'm so fucking over this, you have no idea. I don't want to do anything, I mean, and I mean nothing. Don't want to crack skulls, get wild at a party like nothing. Like something switched off in my head. I'm just stuck here with these BD losers. You know, that father-son duo. He calls his dad Papa, like what the actual fuck? And I'm wondering why they even fucking bother. They're sitting on piles of eddies. They don't need to do anything and they're still tuning snuff all day. Like what the fuck, right? <laughs> so if Maelstrom think you're a bit weird, that's probably a bad thing, a bad sign. Yeah, that's a circular email. There's one dude left. Maybe. I will hit another ping at some point. Okay, he's on the same level as us currently. Sorry, mate. guy was a sniper. The cameras will come on it again at some point, another grad. Oh, uh, what level am I at the minute? With body? I need two more levels. Okay, okay. I feel like there was... Oh, there's an access point up here, beautiful, bit of extra. Oh god. We could have got in here really stealthily then. Let's do this first. Do we need to 
keep my finger away from the right click. Uh. Nice, we are very wealthy currently. I don't know why we'd need to sneak in here. But... Guess the door was locked. So are these guys here? Uh, there might be more maelstromers, so need to be on the lookout. Oh, they're, 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 they're in net running chairs. Yeah, there was a whole other way in here. That I did not find. Ah, Trixie. We'll get that on the way out. Okay, so yeah, there were loads of sneaky. Right there. Right before he gets. What do you think? Else it'll feel like stabbing a pillow. God, these guys. Okay, uh, pulling up by one frame, augmenting pain feedback and ferrous aftertaste. Freddy boy, you're a natural. I enjoy this, man. Uh, cutting that sweat stench. No, no, leave it. Some go for that extra kick. Put out two cuts. Sweat in, sweat out. Hey, good thinking, Papa. Can we do this without them noticing? Guess they're jacked in, right? BD gear from Max Peltier to Gottfried. Gottfried, I need some new gear for tuning BDs. You got anything you'd recommend? Just as long as it's a reasonable price. Uh, maybe this is someone we need to look out for. Max Peltier. I'll write that down. There's probably like a whole network of these sickos working on XBDs. Hi Max, you want to put us out of business? If the equipment is just for you, then I'm happy to lend whatever I'm not using anymore. By the way, what happened to your scrolls? Yours were some of the best. Great, I'll drop by and take it off your hands. Don't worry about the scrolls. I'm way too deep to give up now. Stuffy nose to Gottfried from Rex. Rex Addy. Yo yo, Jim, heard you had some minor hiccups with the BD security features. Freddy mentioned something about not being able to reach the olfactory layer. Here's the dealio. The features were included in a new update for Arasaka Tech. I'll need a pro to bypass the protocols. And it just turns out I know just the guy, Al Cantos. Give him a call, he'll know what to do. New sexy hot. Animals, humans, bodies, humiliation, public, old, young, victim POV, pubic care, mild pain, Femdom, penetration, forced. Kids, forced death. Raw overstimulation risk, suicide, virgin nylon, tide. Jesus Christ, man. We have the option to Wait them all. So, so, right. It would be one thing if Maelstrom were, if they were trapped here, right? But as as we learn in the emails, they don't understand why they're still here. So they obviously enjoy what they're doing. So the BD's over there. I feel like, should we talk to them or kill them? We've got to talk to them at least. 
Wakey, wakey, gentlemen. What, what's happening? Security! Too far away to hear us. Well, let's not do anything rash here. We just tune and sell. We don't scroll. Honest to God. We can figure this out. Just tell us what you want, and we'll make it happen. Got a little family affair going here, huh? People want to buy, so we sell. Business is business. Looking for something in particular? You know, if, if it wasn't us, there'd be someone else. So? You, you, you want to see something really hard for? Freddy! We just supply what Night City demands. That's all. I'm sorry, man, but these guys... Like, they're editing BDs with, with, with kids getting we, murdered. I won't tell anyone you're here. We swear. I, we, we can't let this lie, man. And he's dragged his son into this? People want to buy, so we sell. Business is business. Sorry, dude. I'm sorry. Papa. I'm sorry, man. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry if that... I, I don't know what you guys thought about that, but... I mean, look at this. Kids tortured and murdered. And they were just editing these things willingly. They weren't even trapped here. Like, Maelstrom weren't even forcing them to do it, right? They were, like, happy doing their work. They enjoyed it. They thought that they were good at what they did. Screw these guys. I know we've just been, like... An executioner and everything and I didn't have to do that but you can't let those guys go on doing what they're doing because they, they weren't being forced they would have found another way to do it screw those guys man oh that's what you keep in the safe a tire iron I don't feel bad, but I don't feel good because we just killed them, you know? Oh. Scumbags, you know? Someone's son, right? Who was brutally murdered. That conversation that was on his body was... What, uh, we, we, what we'd already found on the first Maelstrom, right? Nice. Is there a way out from here? Okay, this is a this would have been a cool tricksy way in, right? I'm glad we don't have to actually scroll this BD. Okay, it's not far away. Oh god, I actually parked where I could have got in. Yeah, alright, because that container goes across. God, awful, man. Half a million employees worldwide, profits in the hundreds of billions, capitalization on the order of some two trillion. But do we accept these jaw-dropping numbers as the product of healthy competition? Or... Being in bed with the authoritarian NUSA government, the line between Militech and the Feds has always been fluid. CEO Donald Lundy previously headed the Pentagon. Elizabeth Kress, former president of the company for the greater part of a decade, Listen later the became news. president of the NUSA. And who replaced Kress in the Oval Office? Rosalind Myers. Surprise, surprise, Militech's former CEO. Responsible for over 60% of contracts, the NUSA is far and away their largest customer. Though, in truth, these sales amount to no more than hidden government subsidies. 
This should raise a huge red flag for any investor with half a brain. Militech is suckling at the giant teat that is the capital. But should Washington ever run dry, kablammo! Want my recommendation? Sell, sell, and sell some more. And if you're unsure where to shove all that cash on short notice, you can't go wrong with the Arasaka money machine. Stay steady and make eddies, my friends. Until next time, and see. God, I feel uh, just gross after that. Not because I killed them, but because of what they were doing. And that they, they, they enjoyed it somewhat, right? Great work, B. Let's hope it helps trace the motherfucker who scrolled the thing. Gig's closed. Yeah, she does not pay good. Um, now we should get another text from her to get the next round of gigs. Yeah. Ivy, got some new contracts lined up for you. Do a good job and your name will pop up on the radar of anyone who's anyone. Alright, let's have a look. Okay, we've got one in a mega building. We've got another one. This is where we... was it? No, 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 it was over here. This is somewhere else. We've got Search and Recover, uh, Saboteur, and a Gun for Hire, which I guess we were just then. It's not nice, like... Uh, uh, because we've had a few assassination assassination quests, right, where with... Uh, Big Pete, I wasn't... Uh, I probably shouldn't have killed him in hindsight, I should have just let him go. Uh, the mercenary, uh, because I screwed up the quest with the animals, I ended up having to... Oh no, I didn't kill him, actually. I, I put him in the car, didn't I? Yeah, fair enough then. But there, those guys, man. You don't just want to kill people in cold blood, but... They were scrolling BDs of, of, of children. I mean... You can't let that slide, can you? You just can't let that slide. It's just awful. Um... Okay, so I think in the next episode, because we're still waiting on Claire and Judy, we've got a whole, we've got a few new quests in and around here, so we could maybe pick up a new car. We'll definitely buy this apartment because it's so cheap. But um, we'll head here in the next episode. I'll just stop at this drop point and sell all the guns I picked up, and we'll head over there in the next episode, guys. Right. Hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Leave me a thumbs up if you did. And just remember, everyone, never trust an on-crate. I'll see you next time.